development length is a critical aspect in the design of reinforced concrete members. It's the length of a reinforcement bar or rebar that needs to be embedded or extended into a concrete element. Welcome back to Civil Tutor. Today we are diving into the world of structural engineering as we explore the calculation of development length in reinforced concrete. We will walk through the formula and some examples to make this concept crystal clear. The formula for development length LD is given by the equation LD equal to phi sigma s upon 4 times tau bd. Let's break it down. LD is the development length, phi is the nominal diameter of the bar, sigma s is the stress in bars at design load and tau bd is the design bond stress. Now before we dive into examples, let's take a quick look at the design bond stress values. These vary based on the grade of concrete and whether the bars are in tension or compression. As you can see, this table shows us the values of tau bd for plane bars in tension with respect to different grades of concrete. But here is the catch. While our calculations are based on plane bars, in real world applications, we often use deformed bars. For these, the values need to be increased by 60%. Therefore, according to IS 456-2000, for deformed bars conforming to IS1786, these values shall be increased by 60%. To make it easy for you, I have created a table showing the values of tau bd for deformed bars in tension. The values of tau bd for deformed bars in tension shall be 60% extra than plane bars in tension. Again, for bars in compression, the values of bond stress for bars in tension shall be increased by 25%. This you can find in the table which shows us the values of tau bd for plane bars in compression to be 25% extra than plane bars in tension. Again, the values of tau bd for deformed bars in compression shall be 60% extra than plane bars in compression. Now, time for an example. Let's calculate the development length in tension for Fe415HYSD steel and M20 concrete. First, we find sigma s which is 0.87 times the yield strength then tau bd for m20 concrete is 1.2 for plane bars and for deformed bars it's 1.92. After putting all these values in our equation, the development length is 47 times the nominal diameter. Now moving on to the calculation of development length for steel in compression. This time we are dealing with Fe500HYSD steel and m25 concrete. Similarly, we find sigma s and then determine the design bond stress. For plane bars in tension, it's 1.4. For plane bars in compression, it's 25% extra than plane bars in tension. And for deformed bars in compression, it's 60% extra than plane bars in compression. After putting all these values in our equation, we get a development length of 39 times the nominal diameter. So that's all about this lecture. If you want to master the practical aspects of building construction from start to finish and work as a professional site engineer, that too without going to the site, then you can enroll in our comprehensive site engineer course. This course is not only designed for the UG students of civil engineering, but also for the experienced professionals to get the detailed insights of building construction from the foundation to the finishing touches. The course is available in both Hindi and English languages. So hurry up and grab the course by clicking the link given in the description box of this video.